Hi there, I'm champion trader Kevin Davey and here is what my algo trading looks like for March 2022. So let's get started. Now, if you've seen some of my previous videos where I've talked about my algo trading, you realize one of the questions I get asked a lot is, what do some of my equity curves look like? Because people who are newer to algo trading don't really know what real algo equity curves look like. And I'll give you a hint, they're not always straight lines. And in fact, usually when you have an algo back test that's a straight line, that's usually a recipe for disaster. But then, what, what's real? What is a typical algo curve? So I'm going to share with you five different equity curves that I'm currently trading. So these are all systems I'm currently trading. Now, these are all automated systems. I don't use any discretion, so the buy and sell rules are completely determined by the algo. And all these algos were developed with my trademarked strategy factory process that I teach. So I've been using this for quite a while and I also teach it to people. And it's a way to build strategies in a proper way without curve fitting, without overfitting, over optimizing, all those bad things. And the results I'm going to show here are just for a single contract so they're not including any kind of position sizing or anything like that so to keep it simple I'm just doing a single contract okay so the strategies I'm going to show you are from 23 that I'm currently trading right now now if you saw my last month's video you will realize hey you were trading more strategies so what I've done for March is I've scaled back a little bit, uh, especially in energies. And I'll show you in a little bit how good the energy strategies have been doing. But some of that is because of the ongoing Ukraine-Russia conflict. And so there's a lot of market volatility. There's also a lot of market volatility in the stock market and also metals and even eggs so it's bleeding over into everything so I've kind of scaled back a little bit to take a little less risk during this high volatile period all the equity curves I show show slippage in commission and the proper amounts it's different for each market and what you'll see are the white part of the curve is walk forward testing it's out of sample testing but it's what you build when you use my strategy factory process. And then the light blue area is actually live trading. So right when it goes from blue to white, that was when I stopped development of the system and I went live either with real trading or just monitoring it in real time. So here's an example, the first strategy. Here's the second strategy. And here's a third strategy that I actually trade. Here we go with the fourth one. The scale's a little scrunched up. And here's a fifth one. So that gives you an idea of the kind of equity curves that I feel are appropriate for trading. And as you notice, none of them are perfect. All of them have drawdowns. All of them have flat periods. That's typical. If you're expecting never to have drawdowns, I wouldn't be trading. Because no matter what you trade, unless it's a bank account, which you can't really trade those, but anything stocks crypto options futures forex whatever you're trading it's going to have ups and downs it's never going to be a straight line and in fact you don't want it to be a straight line because that usually means it's overfit now some of these strategies you might have noticed have some flat periods and that's when they're not in the market so not all strategies are in the market all the time some are 
Some are always long or always short. I tried to do a mix of these in my portfolio. And like I said, they're far from perfect. Now, when I look at those equity curves, I like a lot of the blue period because that's after I develop the strategy. So I don't make any changes except walk forward reoptimization in that blue period. And the longer the blue period, the better off you are because that's real time. And that's pretty much as good as you're going to get with looking at a strategy. That's what I aim for all the time. I want strategies that have a history of performing well real time. Now, of course, if you develop a strategy today, you're not going to have that real time performance. But over time, you'll get it and then you'll start to have confidence in it. And that's a big deal. Some of these strategies, you could see from those equity curves, have been performing well for over four years of real time. So that means I developed them three, four, five years ago, and they're still performing today. And that's always nice. That makes me feel good. Now, a lot of you are probably looking at those and saying, wow, you know, I could do a lot better. I see these internet ads of these people who say they never lose and, and they show these perfect equity curves. Well, yeah, I could do a lot better too. I could create a perfect looking back testing, a great looking equity curve. It doesn't mean anything. That's not the goal. A good back test, not the goal. But most people think it is. And that's one of the biggest problems with algo trading. You can control your back test. You can control how long you test it, how many times you try things, and you're always trying to improve the back test. But that doesn't translate into real time performance. That's the big key you have to remember. And that's one of the things I teach in my workshop. What you want is real time, good risk adjusted performance. I'll say that again. You want good risk adjusted performance in real time. And that in the equity curves I showed is the blue area. So keep the drawdowns low, keep the profits up. That'll be a good risk adjusted return. And that's in real time. That's what you want. Okay, so those are some of the strategies I'm trading. What does it look like overall? before position sizing with the portfolio. So I put all the strategies together and you can see from 2011 on the left what the equity curve would look like if I had traded them all. And you can see on the right just since 2021. What's interesting here is the strategies I'm currently trading had a flat period of about nine months last year. So they really weren't making money and then from about October or so on, they've been doing really well. And that's a key point because a lot of people tend to think that algo equals consistent, okay? Meaning their performance, they should make the same amount of money every month and it'll be consistent. And that's not true. So people who tell you that, they're not telling the truth in my opinion because trading in general is kind of lumpy where you can go for a long period of time with just kind of break even returns and then all of a sudden things start to go well. I see that a lot. The consistency in algo trading is that you consistently build systems the same way and you consistently run them, automate them. So you can only control that. You can't control the consistency of the actual results. So keep that in mind. So in this case, I'm trading a portfolio that is doing really well right now, but a year ago, it was just kind of break even. Okay. But I wanted to show that to you because I think that's an important point. Then if we break it down by sector, remember I mentioned that lately, energies and then eggs and softs and, and stocks, those are the ones that have been doing really well and you can see that in this chart where the energies are the ones that have really taken off and a lot of that's the uncertainty right now with Russia and the Ukraine 
But even before that, back to say October or so, energies have kind of been in a nice bull trend. So if you were long, you've done pretty well with those. And then eggs and softs, they're the second best. And again, some of that's related to the current conflict, but it's also been something that's been going up over time. If I break it down by sector of the strategies I'm trading right now, you'll notice most of them are softs, eggs and softs. I always tend to uh, overemphasize those a little bit because those tend to be uncorrelated. Yeah, wheat and corn will kind of do the same sort of thing, but sometimes soybeans does something different. And when you start looking at things like cotton and cocoa and coffee, you can get a lot of diversification from just the soft. So I like having a lot of different soft strategies and ag strategies. Then my second one is energies. And actually, uh, I could have been trading more energies, but that's what I felt comfortable with. Because right now, like I said, it's pretty volatile. And then we have interest rates and metals the same. I'm very lightly loaded with stock indices. And that's intentional. One the stock market's just been bouncing around lately. So a lot of my strategies haven't really been doing that great. So I just kind of temporarily turn them off. And then currencies, you can see I have zero right now. So for this month, I don't have any really good currency strategies that I'm trading. Now next month that might change, but that's the approach I'm taking for this month. Now, when you put it all together, you have to put it into a portfolio and figure out correlations and diversification. So I use an approach I teach in my workshop. I trade the best of the best strategies that I currently have because I probably have close to 100 strategies that I could pick from. I try to keep the correlation low. I also try to mix them up in different sectors, as you could see. And I do this on a monthly basis. That's why I do this video every month. Every month it's going to be something different. Now there's a new tool I added that Strategy Factory students get access to. It's something I call the Diversificator. And what it does is it's a nice way to help you visualize how much diversification you're getting. And I've never seen this done anywhere, but I share it with my students. It's an Excel tool. and Long story short, as you start to increase your number of strategies, which is going to the right, the curve, the diversification curve, I guess you could call it, and there's a certain measurement I use, a couple different measurements actually, when it starts to get pretty flat, that's when you know you probably have enough diversification. So in this case, you know, like I said, I have about 20 strategies or so. Let's just say I only had a couple strategies this curve is really steep here. So that would tell me, hey, I don't have enough diversification. And if I had 100 strategies, probably it would be a flat line way out to the right. And it would say, maybe you have too many strategies. So you want to kind of be balanced where you don't necessarily need 200 strategies, although you could have them. But what you want is enough where the diversification really takes hold and you kind of maximize that. So my students use something called the Diversificator. I've just released this to them. Gotten a lot of great feedback, and I think it's a tool that you would find useful too. So you might say, okay, well, this works for you. Does this process works for, work for others? In a word, yes. These are some student strategies. In the last two strategy factory clubs, I actually have a club where people submit strategies, and we see how they perform in real time. I've had 15 strategies passed in the last two clubs. Here's a couple student strategies and you can see they're pretty good and then they continue to be good in the live part of the test. And that's what you're looking for again. Again, it's not the white part that's really important. It is important to a degree, but what's really important is the blue portion. Okay, so if you like what you hear, maybe you want to join me. I have a workshop coming up March 10th. It's an all-day live session. You learn how to develop strategies like I do. You get access to a ton of other stuff. 
like the diversificator, the nice tool that I created in Excel. So if you go to my website, kjtradingsystems.com, you can click on workshop up at the top. It'll take you to the page. You get all the details on what is provided. It's a really great way to build strategies correctly. As a final note, just so you know, this is what I'm starting out the month with. Sometimes during the month, if crazy things happen, I might update some of the strategies. I might make some omitted adjustments, and I won't necessarily have a video for that. And this is all just what I do. It's not a suggestion telling you that, hey, you got to be so much in energies or anything like that. Make sure whatever you do with your algo trading, you feel comfortable with. Because in the end, it's all about your money and you feel uncomfortable. And what I do might be something totally different than what you do. So keep that in mind. Okay, so please, if you like this video, leave a comment. Let me know what you're doing. Let me know what you like about this and what you don't. And please subscribe to my channel. Hit the thumbs up button. I would really appreciate it. So thanks for watching. I'm Champion Trader Kevin Davey. Have a great day.